What's up, bitch? For today's video, we have a full Snowscape team. Now, Snowscape is the new hail in Pokemon. What it does for Ice types, it actually gives them a 1.5 times boost in defense, which is really, really good. The only difference is now, Hail actually doesn't do any damage to non-Ice type Pokemon. Now, there's a cool new move as well, Chili Reception, which I'll be covering, and we'll be covering Snow Warning too, all in today's video. So things are gonna get uh, pretty chilly today. Fun fact, I've never ever seen snow in real life ever. Is there anyone out there like me? All right, we got four battles today. These ones are on the uh, Poker Portal. I'm not really sure of my opponent's uh, trainer name here, so maybe someone can translate that for me. So first Pokemon here, here is going to be my Slow King. So Slow King has the uh, new move, Chilling Re uh, Chili Reception, right? What it does, you, you basically tell a bad joke. I'm not even joking here. And you set the hail up, sorry, the snow, and then you swap out. So that's what the move does. I've got Icy Rock as the item, so that's going to extend the snow for uh, eight turns, which is going to be very, very handy. So we're going to a little Timmy Terror on the first turn here. I'm going to tell a bad joke there, and I'm going to be swapping out. I'm going to set that uh, snow up for uh, eight turns. Now, what do you think about hail versus snow? Do you like the old hail better or do you like the new snow better? I actually quite like the new like, snow better because it gives a boost in defense. It really buffs up ice types. And let's be real, ice types aren't exactly the greatest type out there, uh, comparatively speaking. So I think they give them like a really, really good boost. So next Pokemon to come in is going to be the uh, Esku here. And we're going to get hit by a, um, a, a band of force here. So I've got the ice face, which is going to obviously help me out a lot there. And this set, it's a Pit Knight special. I've got a belly drum tackle set, and we're gonna drop that Serilage in one shot there. I was half expecting a, you know, a salty DC, but it never happened. Now, on this uh, move set, let me go over the EVs. We've got tackle, snowscape, soak, uh, 252 in uh, attack and speed, and jolly nature. In comes Miss Dreavus. Now, obviously, I can't do anything to it. I went for the soak. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take that Mystical Fire. So that's the end of the Esku there. But a pretty good performance there, taking out a Sarah Leech with Tackle. Next Pokemon is going to be Abomaso. So, of course, Abomaso has got uh, the Snow Warning ability. And that's virtually uh, you know, the same as Snowscape. So exactly the same sort of thing there. But, uh, you know, uh, with uh, Abomaso, you can definitely run that well with Slowking now. And they make, like, a really, really good combination. You know, like, Slowking being the only Pokemon that gets chilling except of course, are uh, the Gala one too. So that's going to be the end of the Mischievous set. I hit it with a super effective wood hammer. And here comes the car. It's going to take me out with a drain punch. I mean, I was on two health anyway. So, you know, I didn't really care at that stage. That Abomas though was max health and max attack. Or a Veil, Avalanche, Aval uh, Avalanche twice. Earthquake and Woodhammer. Imagine going two moves twice. That'd be uh, crazy. Next Pokemon is the Unit Avalug. This thing is an incredible defensive beast in uh in the snow like it's crazy so this uh set is we've got recover snowscape aura veil and body press i've got max health and max special defense with apricot berry uh ability is going to be ice body so i didn't even run max defense on this thing and it, it's just so tanky like it's eating uh eating those close combats like a snack now this uh body press set works really really well too i'm sure you know a lot of people have tried out if you've tried avalog of course that is and, you know, it just hits so hard because of its ginormous, uh, it's got a base 184 in defense. And, you know, its health stat isn't all that shabby either. So we're going to finish off with Lucario there with a, a body press. I mean, a coffee table press. And uh, Lucario is going to be a fainting. So that's three down. So a pretty good uh, start to battle. Next Pokemon is going to be Dragonite. It's a special set. They popped the Fire Blast there. However, I've got the Aurora Veil up on the field, which is really good. Plus, I've just eaten an Apicot, bro. So, Avalug is uh, probably a lot more special defensive than my opponent actually anticipated there. So now I'm going to set up that snow, which is going to be helpful to the rest of my teammates. I believe after this ice body uh, recovery there, I can actually live another fire blast. 
and I did. I lived it very, very well too. And now I'm going to go for a body press there, breaking the Dragonite's multi scale. That was like an important thing I really wanted to do there. Here comes the second Fire Blast. That is the end of Avalok, but what a performance there, taking all those moves and uh, you're really getting some good damage off at the same time. Next Pokemon is uh, Slowking. So this Slowking, uh, it's going to get hit by a Draco Meteor. That is going to do hardly any damage at all. Dragonite is going to have a negative two in special attack. Here comes the Blizzard. That was the move I ran on this. Off the Kylie, you know, obviously for a uh, you know Ice type uh, team right there. And I've got the other movers, Future Sight and Fire Blast, Terra Ice, Max Health and Max uh, Special Attack. I almost sneezed there before. Maybe you didn't hear. I was like, oh, oh I nearly did it in the micro. So it was close, people. So next Pokemon is uh, Meowskart. It's popped a, uh, a flower trick there. But uh, this Cryogonal is, uh, believe it or not, it's a bulky set in the snow. So we got Snow Recover, Sheer Troll, and Ancient Power. The EVs for this one are Max Health and Max Speed, uh, Tim and Nature. Basically, this is just going to be sending up the snow, passing off a couple of Sheer Cold and Ancient Power boosts, making it really tanky. So... At that stage, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to risk going for Sheer Cold. I'm going to set the Snarl because practically I felt like I needed it. So now we're going to go back to the Sloking. I've got Regenerator as the ability, you know, as you can see. Now I was thinking to myself, what I'm going to do here is go for a Terra Blizzard. Now that will make Flower Trick not super effective, which is going to be a bonus. You know? That's still going to do a lot of damage. And then uh, I'm going to actually boost up the power of the uh, the Blizzard there. And of course, in the snow too, it's exactly the same as Hail. You know, uh, moves like Blizzard are 100% accuracy. But I don't know. I think it's a really good buff to Ice types. and It was good. I don't really miss the damage that Hail does, honestly. I mean... It would be maybe it'd be cool for like non ice type Pokemon. You'd get that little bit of a benefit, but definitely the defensive benefit outweighs the you know the one turn damage of pale. So uh, Mouse Garter is going to go down there, and the next Pokemon we got is going to be Marauder. It's popped her over here. I'm like, oh no, that's going to be the end of Sloking there. And uh, yeah, the only good thing is we got a special attack drop on the uh, Marauder, which is good. It's got a mega, mega stat. Last Pokemon is going to be Glaceon. So this Glaceon is a troll set. It has got uh, Bright Powder as the item, Snow Cloak as the ability, Sub, Snow Skate, Water Pulse, and Blizzard. Um, I actually lived that very, very well, only due to the special defense drop of the Maridon. I'm going to go for Blizzard. He doesn't take it out, but I've got a freeze axe here. Maridon has uh, turned into a popsicle Maridon. It's going to be frozen. It's letting it go, and we're going to finish off this battle with another Blizzard. And that, my friends, is uh, V for victory in our first battle with this Ice-type team. Thank you to my opponent there, whoever you are. If you ever watch this uh, battle, uh, you know, that was a uh, cool dragon. I said, I like this special one. Now, let's get on this. What is that? What is the, uh, what, what is my opponent's name? It's like a T, right? A dot, and then I, I have no idea what this name is here. So maybe someone can translate that too. I know there's a few people that do that, which is really cool. So first Pokemon is going to be Corviknight um, against my Slow King. So they're going to go for a U-turn in. Now, this first part was really, really annoying, and I sped it up a lot. So it was a Grimstar. We all know what Grimstar is going to do. Um, just a normal, boring set. So we're going to go for a Fire Blast there. I was hoping the Corviknight would uh, not expect that and stay in. So... Grimstar is going to be going for a taunt there, shutting down my Slowking's uh, chillingly bad Droke. And then I went into Cryogre, right? I was trying to get the Snob. I was trying to get some damage here off of the Ancient Power, but it kept dropping my special attack over and over again there. I was getting around the Sucker Punch for Recover. I was trying to get a Sheer Cold Troll uh, set on it, but unfortunately, it never really happened here. They were really trying to shut me down and I ended up swapping back into Slowking. I lived the Spirit Break, swapped it out again, got another Regeno, and went back into Glaceon. Finally, I was able to set the Snob up here and finish off the Grimstar with a Blizzard. I just thought that was appropriate uh, fast forwarding that because this was really, really stally. You know, they were just uh, being uh, very, very annoying. Next Pokemon is going to be Corviknight here and Corviknight is going to go for a Terra. So I'm like, all right, well, I've got rid of Grimstar. That's a good count on my team, you know, because obviously I wanted to keep the snow going and now they're going to bring in a Mega Counter being the Corviknight. And Corviknight is going to be Terra Steel too. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, I can probably only go for like, you know, Sheer Cold or Fire Blast. I don't have a lot of things to hit this with. So interestingly enough, they went for a Flash Cannon. I, I didn't expect them to have Flash Cannon. That was kind of interesting. 
Uh, that's not going to do as much damage as, say, an Iron Head would. So I got a miss on the first one, but unfortunately the second one did hit me. But now I'm going to go for a sub. So now my opponent is going to start stalling again here with uh, Roos. I was like, oh, here we go, you know. So I'm going to try and get some damage with Blizzard. I'm a little bit of a, uh, a rock and a hard place here, or an iceberg and a hard place, because I couldn't do much damage. And then I got another Freeze Axe. I'm like, what is going on here? So unfortunately for me, right, uh, they thawed out straight away. You know, that, that Corviknight should have fallen straight onto the ground. That the axe should have hit it on the head and it should have knocked it out unconscious. You know, and then, you know, Tinker Tom would have came along there and you know whacked it with a hammer and stuff, and you know, it should have fainted. Come on, what's going on here? So anyway, um, I'm going to set that uh, snipe again, get the uh, sub going, and uh, unfortunately for me, I'm sort of in a, uh, a very bad situation. I, it's hard to swap out of uh, this Glaceon into another Pokemon because. Virtually, they are all weak to it. I had a little bit of a thought here trying to get into Slow King, but once again, I didn't want to lose that, you know, because I want to land a Fire Blast on it at some point in the game. So I had to sort of let my Glaceon go here, pardon the pun, and I did as much damage as I you know, possibly could there with the Blizzard. Here comes a U-turn there. I guess that's not all that bad because I can always deal with that later on, but I was thinking to myself, I can't lose Slow King. I'm going to absolutely need that. Next Pokemon is going to be Tyranitar, so they're going to get rid of my Snow with the Sand, but I was like, you know, reverse card, and I swapped in my Abomasnow, and I went no you with the, uh, you know, the Snow Warding there, so we got rid of that. Now, watch this. You wouldn't read about this in your entire lifetime. Here comes our Iron Defense. I'm like, okay, Iron Defense, Tyranitar. I went for a Wood Hammer here. You watch this. You wouldn't read about it. It lived on one health, right? And it was a critical hit, and it had a Focus Sash. I'm like, why are you running Iron Defense and Focus? Anyway, so here comes the Fire Fang there. A bomber, so, you know, that's a true example there of the 1.5 boost there helping out the Abomasa, so it lived a fire type move from Tyranitar. Amazing stuff there. So Tyranitar is going to faint there. They probably never knew what hit him. And uh, next Pokemon, of course, is this Corv right now. This has really become a thorn in my um, icy side in this battle. So Abomasa is obviously going to get out and faint there to a drill pet. So here it is, people. We've got to swap this in, and we've got to take Corv right out. So for me to stay in the game, I have to make this happen. But I've got to make this happen by being uh, smart about it. So I'm going to swap in here, and then swap it out to sacrifice my Krogodil. I felt like it run at race already, so there was no sort of... Um you know, further use for it. So I went back into Slow King. Now with that additional health, I might be able to do something. I'm going to get hit there by a Drill Peck, and I'm going to take it out with a Fire Blast here. I think I accidentally cut the Drill Peck animation out, but it only did a little bit of damage to me there. So Corviknight is going to fade. Next Pokemon is going to be Persian. So I'm like, all right, let's swap the Slow King out. Let's get that Regenerator back. I might be able to use that. Avalon's going to be perfect for this, unless it's like a special set. So now uh, Persian's going to go for Assurance, which is interesting, and uh, Ice Spot is going to heal all that all the way up. Now Persia's going to go for a Tauntia. Now at this stage I was like, I might go for the Aurora or I might go for Body Press. I decided to go for the Body Press. Persian is going to get rolled out like a lounge room rug. That was never ever going to live that. So two more Pokemon left and we've got Max Caliber. So this Pokemon's going to better from the snow too. Glygeath Rush does nothing to Avalar. What a unit this is. And uh, even no defensive EVs is doing so much damage. So here comes another one. And uh, even Avalar without the snow is eating them so well. And it's going to take out the Baxcalibur. What an incredible Pokemon. So bye bye Baxcalibur. There is one more Pokemon left here on my opponent's team. And it's going to be Sandy Cheeks. Now Sandy Cheeks um, is kind of low key good against this team, right? So they're going to get a boost of energy there. It's going to uh, raise up that special attack. I'm like, oh no. They're going to use Stealth Rock here, which wasn't a bad play, extra damage. I feel like they know they can live a, uh, a body press. They're kind of lucky I wasn't running Avalanche, though. So here comes a Metal Sound. I was like, Metal Sound? I don't think you need that. Uh, with the, I, I'm guessing they're thinking like, oh, well, it's got like some you know, crazy special defense sort of bolt there. I do, but, you know, even with that special attack boost from Boost Energy, that was like more than enough to take me out. I guess they didn't want to take any chances, right? So now that's the end of my Avalanche. Like, the Slow King here. I've taken a little bit of Stealth Rock damage. Here comes a Discharge. That's not going to live. Like, oh, okay. We've got one more Pokemon left. It's time for the big, bad, bustling Esku Tackle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a... Um, I, I've, I've got Terra Normal. So like, this doesn't have a lot of health left. I've got to roll the dice here because if I get hit by uh, a special move, I'm done, you know. I'm, uh, I'm Cactus. 
So we're going to go for that here. Now, this is probably the str single most strongest hair in the world on top of Esku's head. You look at it. Like, look at it. You wouldn't read about it in your lifetime. Look at that hair. It's a single hair was holding up that Terra Normal. And uh, Sandy Cheeks get beaten by Terra Normal Tackle. Only on Pinrush Channel there, people. What a crazy battle. Thank you for the battle there, um... Random T person. I'm not sure how to say your name. And uh, let's get on to the third battle. This is a battle against uh, Yaya on on really sure to say this. And this team was just pure, pure sweat. Like they were sweating bullets here. So first Pokemon of course is Grimstar and you know exciting stuff there. No idea what they're gonna do. So obviously we already know what Grimstar is gonna do. This is gonna be the boring generic screens taunt set up here. And uh, we're gonna go to Krogonons. Like, you know what? I'm just gonna try and shut this down with the sheer cold, get rid of it because Omri's sort of going to be struggling for damage um, with, you know, without all these screens set up there. So Reflect the Light screen's now been set up, of course, here by Grimstar and Sheer Cold Lance. That was beautiful. So that gets rid of all the boring stalling straight away. Unfortunately, they did manage to get their screens up, but at least they can't be set up again. Now, next Pokemon here is going to be the Skeleton. Like, this is a good counter as well. So this opponent, not only did have very, very competitive sets, super tryharding, they had perfect counters for my team. So anyway, they're going to set the sub up there, which is, you know, obviously a very good move against Sheer Cold, and I've got Ancient Power. Now, the thing about this is, I'm sure they've got Unaware, so even if I do get an Ancient Power boost, it's not going to matter. Now, they've got the Slack off here, and they're trying to, you know, stall behind the sub. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. What I need to do here is I need to make sure I hit them with the Sheer Cold when there's no sub, but that's, that's, you know, that's easier said than done, and it's not like I could swap into many Pokemon on my team. Like, sure, I might be able to go into Sloking, but... If I lose my Sloking, I'm done. They'll just, you know, Torch Song spam my whole team. So here it comes there. Krogonor eats that like a snack, right? Skeledurge gets a boost there. Sheer Cold Lands. That was really good because, you know, getting rid of Grimstar and especially Skeledurge, that's going to make this battle exciting, right? They won't just be able to press the A button and not, you know, not try it all, right? Next Pokemon is going to be closer. Here comes the obvious Shell Smash, little Timmy Rock Blast. Here comes the Ancient Power there. Now, the only reason they lived that so well was due to the light screen. It did live it rather well. Well, and now they're going to get the Shell Smash off. So I'm thinking to myself here, of course, they've definitely got Rock Blast. Here. You know, did, did, once again, another counter on my team. And uh, I'm not going to definitely live this with Krogon, all right? It's got trash defense, even with the snow. So uh, with the hits there, I actually managed to live one, which is pretty impressive when you look at Krogon's defensive stats. So I'm thinking to myself here, there's one Pokemon on my team that can get around this. However, I've got to set the snow up again. So I went into Bomaso. I was like, I have to sacrifice this. I feel like it might just live this badly or it's just going to faint. So with Skill Link, the Rock Blast is always going to hit five times. That was three. That was four. And it was just a little bit too much damage there for Bomaso at max health. Um, so, Abomaso's down, but at least I've got the Snob, right? But I have to sacrifice that whole Pokemon. Reflector's now gone, which is good, into Avalog now. So, Avalog, as you know, it's very, very bulky. So, like, I should be able to live this year reasonably well. So, with those Rock Blasts there, they're going to hit me five times. But Avalog is, like, living them very, very well. Now, Cloyster itself is going to get an actual boost there from the... Uh, from the snow, I know, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, I needed that snow to actually live. So, unfortunately, Body Press is not going to be able to take it out there. So, I'm like, this is going to be really, really close. I've got the Ice Body. Um, I cannot live five hits. So, here they come. There's uh, three. Uh, we got four hits there. And this is like the second last one. And I've eaten my Apricot Berry. Not that that really matters too much uh, in that situation. But, like, I, as I said, I wasn't even running max health and max defense. Like, if I was, I think this Cloyster would have done like a quarter of my health. So, even without those EVs there, Avalug actually managed to live that Shell Smash and takes out the Closer, which is great. So, you know, that's another counter out of the way, which, you know, which would have been an easy win for them, you know. So now they're really making them work for it at the moment. They, they actually have to try, you know. So here comes another counter, which is uh, Scovelid's going to take me out with a Flamethrower. So I'm like, okay, uh, how do I get around this? I'm thinking to myself here, and it's moody. So I'm like, oh, it might be like a annoying stalling set. I don't know at this point. I'm sort of just like trying to think it. So like, okay, let's go into Glaceon. This is where I had to spam uh, the speed up button, right? Because they stalled for so, so long here. So after taking out like really three really good Pokemon on their team, they, I, I guess I'm thinking like, man, I, I've really got to stall here. Like, I don't know how I'm going to win. So they were stalling with Moody to try and get a lot of boosts up here, to put Elite Seed on the field here, and try and get this Govalin stats up. Because what they were trying to do, they were trying to get an easy win, right? They were trying to boost their stats and just press the A button with Flamethrower. They wanted the easiest way out possible, right? So what I was doing here is I wanted to try and get Blizzard uh, to do as much damage to them as possible, and then maybe bring a Pokemon in and fight them. So... 
it got down to this point there where I wasn't doing as much damage with Blizzard, but I got a little freeze axe there. It actually didn't matter all that much because they did have the flamethrower, but on that last bit, they actually swapped it out and then they went to Gargan up. So, you know, more stall on, more stall, and another counter. So I went for the Blizzard there. The snow is going to stop and uh, Leech Shed is going to faint. So, like, okay, fair enough. I mean, I, I, at this point in time, I'm like, man, this team has done outstandingly well so far considering what Pokemon my opponent brings. So I'm like, I don't know how much more I can squeeze out of this team. I mean, I've got Tackle Esku. Let's be real here, right? So if I had any other move on my Esku which wasn't Tackle, I'd, I, I'd win the game right now. But I was like, I don't know what to do here. So I'm going to get hit by the, uh, the, with, with the Salt Cure. And I've got, um, I've got Belly Drum, but I wasn't sure if it had like Body Press. I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, maybe I should try and go for the uh, the belly drum here, risk it, and then maybe try and take out the last couple of Pokemon. So I went for the Terra normally. I know I can beat Scovelin. That wasn't really ever a problem. But there is another stalling Pokemon after the Garganacle as well. You know how bulky Garganacle is, and I've only got Tackle. So I'm like, I'm going to need to go for a Soak. So I was like, first things first, let's get my attack up there. So even with Terra normal Tackle, this is probably going to do like what, a quarter damage short, if I'm lucky. And uh, now that they're, all they're going to do is just stall. They're just, all they're doing is just stalling, stalling, stalling. Uh, so at this stage, you're like, all right, um, unfortunately, this is doing too much damage to me. Like, even if they just keep stalling, I don't think I can do it. So I went for the Sokia, and they swapped in their Scovelin. So all they're doing now is just waiting at, at this stage, right? So I watered the Scovelin there, the little cap skins, and I'm going to take more damage. So that's all they're waiting for, is me to faint to the Salt Cure. So I went for the tackle there, took out the uh, Scovelin, and I guess that was good there. But that that was really never a counter. Once I got them to low health, it was fine. Next Pokemon is Chansey. So now I went for the Terra Tackle. The only reason I lived that was due to the Everlight, and now they're stalling against, like... This is like the most desperate battle ever. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like if I was first in this team, I'd be embarrassed to have lost like so many Pokemon with how many cows I had. But anyway, you know, that's the end of the Esku there. It died to the Soul Cure. Absolutely nothing I could have done there. Uh, like I said, if I had a move set that was good, I would have won this battle ages ago. So last Pokemon set. Oh, I haven't actually explained this. This is a terrible, terrible set. So what I wanted to do here, I, like, and they stalled for like nearly the full 20 minutes. What I wanted to do here is I actually want to trick the items. I want to try and get the move uh, the item snowball to activate and it's a very very difficult item so what I did there is I tricked the Chansey I got rid of its Everlight and I gave it a, sn a snowball right so snowball is a terrible item when you are uh, holding a snowball right if you get hit by ice type move it raises your attack by one stage what I wanted to do is trick the item to the Chansey in that case and then uh, hit them with the ice type move raise the Chansey's attack and then you psych up to boost my own attack and then go for a Terra Ice Punch that was the strategy it was convoluted as heck and it was you know it was very very weak against you know, something like this, right? Unfortunately for me there, the chance he did swap out, so I wasn't able to land the Ice Punch and do the uh, Psych Up combination. So I went for Ice Punch there. It's going to do three damage. The Garganuckle had Rocky Snore Helmet, and, you know, they still use Recover here, so that's pretty much it here. I just thought I'd show this battle, um, especially the start of the battle there. Uh, was You know, it went really, really well. They just had very good counters there. I mean... I don't know, like, if I feel if I had Esku, like, say if I had just, let's say, a normal move on Esku, uh, Liquidation, right? Boom, that was, that, that's game over. Like, uh, Garganuck were lost there, and uh, Ice Punch, even, even like, Ice Shard, I think it might have went. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I think of the battle, you got off lucky there. If I had anything other than Tackle, you would have lost. Let's go to the next uh, final opponent. I don't know what um, my opponent's uh, name here is, and uh, maybe someone can translate that, and we've got a Pikachu lead. Now, this is actually quite a funny battle. So we've got a bomber snow as my lead this time. I sort of went between um, snow warning and I went between the slow king with chilly reception. Like very very good sort of uh, ice teams. I, I hope to see more ice teams due to uh, the buff uh, for that. So I guess they don't have much to hit me with outside with Pikachu. You know Pikachu does have a somewhat limited uh, you know special uh, move pull there. I'm gonna finish off with the uh, with the earthquake there. So that's the end of Pikachu. I'm also glad I didn't get paralyzed there either. Next Pokemon is Scissor. I'm like all right. Uh, I don't know whether I can do this. Gonna go for a close combat. A bomber, so he just leaves it just due to the uh, the, the snow, right? And uh, now I'm gonna go for a. Uh, I think I went for earthquake here. That was the best move I could actually go for uh, against Scissor, and you know it does all right damage. Um, actually, it does more than all right damage. You know? I was very very happy with that. That's a. Uh, I, I was actually thinking, was I running? I might have been running choice ban on this. I don't know. I sort of like swapped out my items 
I went between Icy Rock and Choice Band and stuff like that. That was sort of how I went with that set. Anyway, so in comes Slo uh, Slowbro again. I was, I was really determined to try and get this Snowball set to work. So I went for the trickier, and uh, the Scissor got the Snowball, right? Now, I had the, 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 the weakness here is I had to actually boost the Scissor's attack, which I really didn't want to, and I also lost my Val. So they went for the um, close combat there. I think they uh, they didn't really have too many moves to hit me with here. Like, if they had steel moves, it wasn't going to do much either. So I went for the Ice Punch there. Scissor only just leaves, and Snowball's going to activate. There's probably one of the few times you'll ever get to see Snowball activate in your life. So now it's got the attack boost, and now it's super it's super convoluted, right? I was trying to think of cool items, I could, you know, fun items I could give this team. It's like, oh, Snow Team. Oh, we'll try Snowball out, you know, but it is terrible. So I go for the Psych up there, and I copy that, uh, that boost and attack, and now I can go for the Ice Punch and finish the Scissor off. They probably would have beaten me there if they went for X Scissor, like, continually instead of close combat. But, uh, you know, I, I have no idea. Like, you watch this too. So I went for the Ice Punch on Meowth Gun, and I dropped them. Like, there's not... There's not too often you see Slowbro take out Mouse Garter with an Ice Punch. So I was like, okay, that's in the trick room. You know, I pay my run. Out comes the baby and like spring Yatio and it took me out with a leafage. Oh, I love, I laugh for nearly a solid minute of that. That was funny. So. I don't know, like, what sort of troll set this is. So, I went into Cryogonal here. Uh, I set the Snowscape up. They went for Leafage a couple of times there against my uh, Cryogonal. But, yeah, this is a bulky set there. You know, Sprigatio is a massive counter, but I managed to get around it with a sheer cold there. So, poor Sprigatio. Um, I, I think it's going to be uh, frozen for a little bit. Uh, a bit, I don't know, a couple of hundred years after that. Next Pokemon is going to be the Cinderace. Now, Cinderace, of course, is a great counter this theme, you know. Not only being a fire uh, fire type, you know, having uh, you know fighting type moves, like powerful fighting type moves, like high jump kick though too. So Krogonal is going to get kicked out of the battle, which is you know it is what it is. I was like, all right, this is a good time. Let's go into Esco here. It's time to get that uh, belly drum tackle sweep. So the time is sort of right to go for it too. Now with the ice face there, it's going to wear off. I'm going to go into nice form, and what that's going to do, that's going to really boost my speed. So after this belly drum ride, um, it, it's really it's a really powerful belly drum sweep. Too. And with that uh, ice face, you can generally always get it. So I went for the tackle there. I didn't even go for the terror, but that was more than enough to take out the Cinderace. I'm kind of curious what my opponent was thinking when they seen tackle too. Last Pokemon is going to be Charizard. It's not shiny though. I'm going to go for a little Timmy Terror here and see if I can faint this Charizard with a, uh, a Terra normal tackle. But once again, the strongest grain of strain of hair in the world there holding up that massive jewel on its head like only your pinot channel here it comes people the tackle takes out the cherry zard and that my friends is the end of the snowscape team hope you enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun to do and uh, i'll catch you tomorrow for some more videos peace out